the guard, he's realised that Kel Brook is a really effective counter puncher and he's got fast hands. And he is having his first test at this level. Or has Spence got more tricks up his sleeve? No, well, what we yet to see in the later rounds or the middle rounds what's going to happen. But this is, a, like I said, a big test for both of them. But Kel Brook right now is winning this fight. Tony Bellew has three up to Kel Brook. How are you seeing it, Carl? I've got Brook five up. I just think, I mean, round one was close, could have gone either way, but some nice body shots went in there from Spence. But since then, I just like what Brook's doing. Yeah, he's also swarming all over Errol Spence Jr., not giving him a break. Nice jab by Brook. And Errol Spence eating punches from the IBF Walterweight Champion. Kel Brook said, I am going to land the uppercut in this fight. And guess what? There it is. All right, let's bring in our unofficial scorer, Steve Ford. How do you have it at the half? Point of this championship affair. Well, I had Brooke on four rounds at 258, 56. I thought Brooke had landed the more impactful, the more meaningful punches. Ample. And then Kel Brook with that lead right hand. Come back. Activated. just can't deal with that at that moment. It's, it's still undefeated. Earl, the truth, Do you believe this is the start of a long reign at the top of the world's weight division? Definitely. The goal is to unify the titles. You know, I want to fight Keith Thurman next. You know, uh, Manny Pacquiao next. I want to fight the champions, unify the division, become the undisputed world's weight champion of the world.
following breaking news out of Dallas where a bad rollover crash has happened. And we're told it involves a champion boxer. Nicole Jacobs is live at Dallas Methodist Hospital with more. Nicole. Russ and Karen, people in the boxing community tell CBS 11 the driver in that crash is Errol Spence Jr. But of course, the video from the scene really tells the story. Let's get you right to those pictures. You can see video of that mangled Ferrari there and responding investigators getting a close look at the scene. Police telling us moments ago speed was in fact a factor and the driver crossed over the median and flipped several times. Unfortunately, he was not wearing a seatbelt and was thrown from that Ferrari. Right now, investigators are not confirming the driver, but again, people in the boxing community tell CBS 11 the driver is Errol Spence Jr. We are awaiting for uh, official confirmation of that information, but fortunately, that driver is expected to survive, we're told, but he remains here at Methodist Hospital, and we're told right now he is in ICU. We're live in Dallas. Nicole Jacobs, CBS 11 News. Spence hasn't fought since September of 19. First fight since being launched from his Ferrari at high speed. Suffered some damage to his face, some teeth, broken jaw. How much, if at all, was he affected by that experience? How much of Spence is still there? What Spence will show up? Is it a Spence that has been impacted so deeply by that, that accident? Do you expect any ill effects from that car accident whatsoever? You know, it's hard to say. It's all speculation. I do expect some things to be different, but we won't know until they open the bill. Come back. Activated. We have breaking news here on CBS Sports HQ. Errol Spence Jr. is not going to be fighting Manny Pacquiao a week from Saturday. He won't be fighting Pacquiao at all. Spence Jr. pulled out of the fight after suffering an eye injury. WBA welterweight champion your Dennis Ugas is going to take his place. We'll take a look at what Spence had to say. Quote, I'm very disappointed that I won't be able to fight Manny Pacquiao. I was excited about the fight. Unfortunately, the doctors found a tear in my left eye and said I needed surgery on it ASAP and that there was no way I could fight with my eye in that condition.
Come back. Activated. Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford, two of the best pound for pound fighters in the fight game today will meet on July 29th in a four belt unification bout. That fight and now officially scheduled July 29th at T-Mobile Arena in Vegas. Joining me now are two of the best fighters on the planet Earth. Welterweight champions Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence Jr. They've announced that they'll fight one another for the undisputed welterweight crown July 29th in Las Vegas. A lot of people look at you and they've said you've been the natural welterweight. As a matter of fact, people have wondered whether or not you was going up to junior middleweight on several occasions because you were considered the bigger guy. They've been waiting for this fight for a long time, but they felt at least at some point years ago that Terrence might have been a little bit smaller, or too small for you because he was coming up from the junior welterweight division. Want to know your thoughts about what you think of Terrence Crawford and why and how do you think you're going to win this fight? Uh, I'm a man of my word. Like I, like I said, people thought I was going to move up, but I, just like I told him when we encountered each other in Oklahoma, I said, I'm going to get these belts on my side and I'm going to come take yours. And, you know, this is where we at now. And I, and I stood on that. Even if it was leaving me standing out the ring the whole year, they trying to give me to fight other people. It's the fight I wanted, so I stuck to my guns and was like, I'm not fighting until I fight Terrence Crawford, so my team got it going. There's a lot riding on this fight. You know, this is the biggest fight in boxing in decades, you know. So, you know, uh, of course, uh, I want to go out there and put on a tremendous show and win in spectacular fashion. Um, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling, I'm, I'm ready to go next week if, if it feels need be. watching boxing, it is rare that I've seen an ass whipping like that. I believe that Errol Spence Jr. should consider retiring. That's how bad that this is. This is how I feel about Spence. And if you want to come at 154, the outcome 
is going to be the same. You can go back, you can go get the, the Wizard of Oz. You easy to read. It's gonna be worse the second time. Worse. Come back, activated.